Hey guys, welcome to Dainty Bite. Today I'm gonna show you how to make focaccia pizza, an easy recipe that's a crowd pleaser. Choose the toppings of your choice. Kids love it, adults love it. It's so simple. Let me show you how to make it and let's get started. I'm gonna start by making the simple focaccia dough. I have one and quarter cups of warm water. To that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of instant yeast, half a tablespoon of sugar. Mix and let it rest for five to 10 minutes. The yeast mixture is gonna bloom nicely. Meanwhile, I'm gonna work on the flour Add 4 cups of all-purpose flour to the mixing bowl. To that I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of salt. Attach the dough hook and start adding the liquid slowly. I want the dough to be shaggy and soft. One and a half cups, sometimes you're gonna need less, sometimes you're gonna need one and a half cups of water. It all depends on the room temperature and the flour you're using. Let the mixer do the work. Let it go for five to seven minutes until it's very smooth. And this is how it's gonna look like. This is how it should look like. I'm gonna cover it. But before covering it, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of a good extra virgin olive oil. Cover the whole surface and let it rest for two hours. Two hours later, it's doubled in size and it looks amazing. I'm gonna start working on the dough. And I don't want the pizza to be too too thick so I'm gonna use a jelly roll pan. I'm gonna let the dough rest one more time in the jelly roll pan and then I'm gonna add the toppings. And as you can see there's extra olive oil left at the bottom of the mixer bowl. I'm gonna use it to brush the bottom of the jelly roll pan. The dough needs to rest one more time, so I cover it and leave it for half an hour to an hour. Now is a great time to prep your toppings. I love lots of vegetables on my focaccia bread, but my kids love pepperoni, so I'm gonna make it half and half. The dough's been resting, I'm gonna spread it evenly in the pan. A well-rested dough is gonna have some nice bubbles. Now I'm ready to spread some pizza sauce. After spreading the pizza sauce, you're gonna add some dried oregano. It will add so much good flavor. You're gonna add a generous amount of cheese. And I'm gonna make it half pepperoni, half veggies. Finish loading the pizza the way you want and you're gonna bake it at 450 degrees Fahrenheit until golden and crispy on the edges. It looks and it smells heavenly. I'm gonna slice it into big square slices and serve it alongside some pepper flakes and Parmigiano Reggiano. Getting ready to take a photo and I can't wait to dig in. 
This pizza disappeared so fast. I hope you give it a try soon. And please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my recipes. And follow me on social media, the links are gonna be in the description box below. And I always love to hear from you, so leave any comment or any question in the comments box below. And until next time, bon appétit!